Donald Trump is not happy with the New York Magazine story on him and his failing campaign, which by the way, if you haven't seen it, the cover of it is actually a picture of Donald Trump sitting alone with the caption that says party of one. It's actually pretty poignant there, but either way, the story, which I spoke about yesterday by Olivia Nuzzi, uh, and forgive me if I'm pronouncing that name incorrectly, but Donald Trump is so furious about it that on Tuesday, he took to truth social to blast Ms. Nuzzi for this story that has since been corroborated by other people close to Donald Trump. And I think that's probably the most important thing to point out because as usual, Donald Trump says the whole thing is fake news, yet it's now being confirmed by those in his inner circle. So, you know, whatever. But here is what Donald Trump had to say on Truth Social. The fake and corrupt news is only getting worse. As an example, I agreed to do a short telephone interview for a once very good, but now on its last legs and failing New York magazine. The reporter was a shaky and unattractive whack job known as tough, but dumb as a rock who actually wrote a decent story about me a long time ago. Her name, Olivia Nuzzi. Anyway, the story was fake news. Her anonymous sources don't exist. True with many writers. And I'm happily fighting hard for our great USA. Now, one of the things obviously that sticks out the most was the fact that he referred to this reporter as unattractive. Her appearance, her looks have absolutely nothing to do with the validity of the story. And the fact that he had to go low to attack this individual who by the way, is not unattractive at all. So let's go ahead and set the record straight there. Um, but anyway, the fact that he did go after her looks shows that he has nothing really to attack her for. He has to go for that low hanging fruit when he has no factual basis to dispute anything she says. And notice he didn't dispute any of it. He just said it's fake news. He didn't say, nope, these people uh, actually said this. She took this out of context. I, my full quote was this. I recorded it. On. None of that because he can't because as I previously mentioned, the story is true. And for those who may not have seen yesterday's segment, uh, part of it was those close to Donald Trump, his aides, advisors, all of that have said that the campaign is failing. Trump's doing nothing. He's moping around Mar-a-Lago, either playing golf or ranting and raving like a lunatic on truth social case in point. One staffer even said the magic was gone and Trump continues to do absolutely nothing other than play golf and rant and rave on social media and attacking this reporter doesn't make the story any less true. As I said, others around Trump who he swears don't even exist have come forth to other media outlets and confirmed parts of the story. It is accurate. It is real. <laughs> it is the actual things happening at Mar-a-Lago. And we don't even need the insiders to tell us this because we can see it with our own eyes. Like that's the part that Donald Trump also wants you to forget. We see that you're not putting effort into your campaign. That's not a reporter making it up. We literally see that you're not out there doing rallies. We see when you go play golf, right? The paparazzi gets pictures of it. We see it happening. You post stuff on social media all the time. We know you're ranting and raving like a lunatic. So you can attack this reporter all you want, but it doesn't make her story any less true. And yes, it is all true. And the fact that you're denying it so viciously only lets us know that, yeah, not only is it true, but it apparently got under your very thin skin too. Hi everyone. This here is little Athena and Athena would like to know why you haven't subscribed to fair and balanced yet. So please don't let Athena down. Subscribe today.